Hey everybody, I'm Krista Joy with SouthernPlate.com and today I'm making this video as part of my Vlog Every Day in June challenge um, that I issued on SouthernPlate.com to food vloggers and I encourage y'all to check out the other videos. I'll put, um, there's some links in the comments here to the other, other channels that are doing this if you're reading this on SouthernPlate.com or if you're watching it. If you're watching it on YouTube, I'll put some links under the video so everybody else is seeing check them out because they're really interesting. Um, I'm going to be brief today mainly because um, well, I'm going to try to be brief. We are under attack by ticks right now. <laughs> we have, um, we, we just have a lot of, we're having a huge tick issue this year. Um, I'm finding, it's getting to be almost one a day now on me. And um, it's very annoying. <laughs> so today we're going to try to be a little more proactive. Our main problem is we have a lot of pine trees. And that's, the ticks just love the pine trees. So they drop down your head. And uh, so if y'all see any ticks drop on me, let me know. <laughs> I'll be going and checking again as soon as this is done. Um, and then today we're taking a lot of preventative measures. We're going to be cutting down, um, I'm cutting down everything that I don't need. Um, like I have these hydrangea bushes, which are beautiful, but they've just about died this year from the heat and the lack of uh, water and stuff. And they've just had a hard time. So we're just going to go ahead and cut those back. You know, give them, give the ticks for your places to live. I've got some stuff I'm going to broadcast around the yard um, where I safely can away from my critters and stuff and just do the best we can and then I'm going to go this weekend hope to find me a nice broad rim straw hat maybe that'll help keep them off of us you know they're not something to play with but when you have a problem you have a problem um, so today's question I'm going to answer two questions and then I'll be caught up for the week um, today's question is um, what type of television show would you have if you had one and describe what an episode would be like? Um, I've done I've done TV series before and I've been a guest on many shows and I did web series with Southern Living and I really enjoyed those. Um, I've had opportunities to have a television show but not the right opportunities. So, um, you know, I don't know. For a while in my career I just it was almost like it was inevitable and everybody just knew that I was going to have a TV show. Um, and it just never, um, never came to fruition in a way that I knew, um, was God sent. Um, so if I were to ever have my own TV show, it would be a family cooking show. Um, I'd love to involve my family in it. It would be the kind of food that we actually eat. It would be recipes that were actually mine. Um, you know, a lot of the TV shows you, you show up and there's, See, I'm like, oh, ticks are going to be falling on my head. The wind's blowing. There's, um, there's food people there, and they have the recipes and stuff. And the person hosting the show has never seen the recipe or tried the recipe. And so they walk them through it real quick, and then they do it on air. And I want it to be my recipes. That I, you know, I want to be the one that comes up with the recipes. I want to be the one who's actually, you know, doing all that stuff. So I would have to be very, um, I'd have to have a big voice in it. And it's hard to give. You don't realize... Um, <clears throat> how little of a voice a lot of these um, cooking show stars have. Um, the network really kind of runs things. The production company really kind of runs things. Um, and then I want it to be very family friendly. Um, I want it to be on, and this is the big kicker, I would want it to be on a network where I could have it on 24-7 and never have to worry about my child walking into the room and hearing something or seeing something that I didn't feel was appropriate. And that's where you have the problem. Because <laughs> there's networks like that. I mean, there's just, you know, there's a couple. A couple. Very, very, you know, a couple. As in maybe, I can think of two. Literally, two. Um, and then at the end of every episode, I want us to sit down at the table as a family. That's what I would like. So that's kind of a typical episode all in one. You know, it would just be me cooking and talking very casual. Just like you're sitting there with me like these kind of. And then at the end of the episode, we all sit down as a family and we eat. Yeah, that would be cool. So um, the second question is, what was the last book you read? And I'm actually, um, I'm reading two books now. I'm actually reading three. But <laughs> I'm reading the latest book from Tamara Alexander. Um, she's a friend of mine. She's a wonderful author. Oh, my goodness. She's a best-selling author. I mean, huge. Tamara Alexander's latest is amazing. Her books are wonderful. Um, they're actually Christian historical romances, but I read them with a highlighter. Because she has such little nuggets of wisdom there. It's amazing. Um, and then I'm also reading a book um, by um, Charles Swindle. And it's... I get him and Charles Stanley mixed up. Let me make sure, y'all. 
I know I shouldn't. I'm looking. I'm reading in on my Kindle. Um, just a second. Cover. Yes, Charles Swindle, and it's um, Paul, a man of grit and grace. And I'm really enjoying that book. Um, just delving deeper into Paul, who he is, who he was, who he became, and the kind of life he lived. It's it's very encouraging and strengthening. Um, so that's a good book. And then I'm also reading, see, I have a Kindle, and then I have, like, the fun read, and then I have, like, okay, you need the, the learn something read, which is the Paul, that's more of a, a character read for me um, to help improve my character. And then, and wisdom. Um, the Tamara Alexander, that's, like, ooh, fun. And then this is more learn something I'm reading. Um, and I'm not really reading this cover to cover. I kind of pick it up and read parts, and it's the, uh, <laughs> It's the third edition survival handbook, <laughs> and this look, this is a big book, but it's great. It has um, it shows you how to do everything. I mean, it has chapters on preserving food, making shelters, building a fire, building a ladder, um, how to use a compass, which I need to study that a little more. I am very directionally challenged. I do not know how to use, I do not know how to find my way with a map and a compass, and so that's something I've got to work on. Um, talks about bug bites, snake bites. This is neat because it, this is like there's actual diagrams of medicinal plants in the wild. There's also um, diagrams of you know which snakes are poisonous, how to tell which one. Um, there's insects, poisonous insects and stuff. Um, dangerous sea creatures, which is not a factor where I am currently. Um, and then there's like things about edible plants, um, home security, uh, communications. You know, it's just it's interesting. This is interesting stuff. So. I like that. I like to, you know, we're always learning. We're always um, adding to who we are and becoming better people. Uh, well, we hope. <laughs> if we actively try, we're always learning and adding to who we are and becoming better people. Um, we can also become worse people <laughs> as we go through life. It all depends on um, setting your sails to which way you want to go and being a determined sailor. So, oh, this is really good. Y'all, this, this is a great day for tea. Um... And that's all I have for today. Answered those two questions, visited with you a little bit, saw that part of my hair is driving me crazy back here. I gotta do something with that. Um, I'm loving my new hair, by the way. All I do is just kind of barely curl it and just run my hands through it, and that's it. And that's what Daniel said I'd do, so he was right. Um, so now we gotta get to clearing stuff out of the yard, um, doing what we can about these ticks. So it's just gonna be a, a long day. And hopefully at the end of the day, we won't have too many of them on us. But I'd rather them be on me and my husband than the kids. So, <sighs> like I said, I've got a couple things that I'm going to be putting around the yard in hopes of deterring as best I can. And we're going to try to find, there's stuff that um, Bill Gentry on Facebook was telling me you can get and spray on your clothes that are, it's tick repellents. So we're going to get some of that and get us some hats and get out here and just... Go for it. Hope for the best. Um, I love y'all. I hope you have a great weekend. And I will holler at you later. Bye.